Good morning, this is Keith Hall, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a burnt paper hole effect in Photoshop. So this is what we're going to be creating today. We're going to simulate that this piece of paper or papers uh, was burnt through. Uh, and you'll learn to make these burn marks here. We'll have a drop shadow and other effects inside this document that we're going to create. So let's go over to the image itself. The first thing we want to do is let's unlock this image by clicking the lock icon. Let's add a new layer and we're going to cover that layer in white. So let's switch the foreground color to white. I could have left the, uh, the background color too, but anyways, uh, on a PC, I'm pressing Alt and Backspace, and that creates a, a white canvas for us. Now we're going to move this white canvas down below the image, and you'll see why uh, uh, in a little while why we should do that. Anyways. Let's uh, create the uh, like a burnt hole right now. So we're going to use the elliptical, or no, we're going to use the uh, lasso tool to create a selection. And you could draw this however that you want. Just draw a jagged edge. Just like that, and then come over here and then connect it. We got that selection. Now what we want to do is we want to hide this selection. Uh, so we're going to go up to um, select, uh, let's see, uh, edit. Give me a second here. We go up to layer, sorry for the uh, short confusion, but we're going to go up to the layer menu, layer mask, and then we're going to hide the selection. So now we got that uh, um, on its separate uh, layer mask right here. Now what we want to do is we want to um, create a drop shadow. Let's double click on this to open up the layer style dialog box. Let's create a drop shadow. And I already have my options selected. You can adjust this how you see fit and whatever effect that you want. So click OK. The next um, uh, thing that we're going to do is we're going to create um, uh, another effect right along this edge. And so what we want to do is we want to click this layer mask thumbnail, make that a active, and let's go up to filter, stylize, and then diffuse. And then if you could see a little bit, it creates a rugged or rough edge right around here. And so we're going to um, just click OK. And let me zoom in just a little bit. So you can see there's this rough little edge here. And that's what the stylized diffuse effect uh, does. Now let's add a little bit more of this effect. And the way to do that, you could go up to filter. And a shortcut key here on a PC is all control F. So I'm going I'm to do alt, control, and then F. And watch it create more of a rough edge. So I did that about three times. So let's uh, zoom back out. Let's double click this hand. Okay, now we're going to also add a blur effect. So let's go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's just, uh, let's bring that down just a little bit. Okay, let's click OK. 
okay now our next step is we want to create the burnt marks right around this edge and we do that by let's create a new layer but let's go up to layer new and then layer and then we're going to create uh name this uh um, layer burn mark and then what we want to do is we want to use the previous layer in other words this layer as a clipping mask so we're going to check that and then we're going to select the blending mode as multiply and then click ok so we we got that now let's create this burn mark we're going to go through this in two steps the first step is we're going to create an orangey or yellowish color and we're going to use the brush tool and then let's increase the size of the brush i'm just using a keyboard shortcut the right bracket and then we're going to select the color and as you can see that changed this foreground color here so let's just dab this on the edge see how it creates that little burn mark just like that okay now we're going to do the same thing but with a different color we're going to use a darker brown so uh, we uh, selected this color let's decrease the size of the brush and let's just make small little marks here just like that okay and so that's how one way as you know if you're a uh, avid photoshop user there's more than one way to do things here in photoshop this is just one way to do that now the reason why we wanted this uh bottom layer to be white watch what happens when i turn it off it goes to transparent so i just wanted to have a background layer to that so that's why i did that in the beginning so anyways that's how you could create this burnt paper hole effect and um, hopefully this gave you a new idea for your future projects and subscribe to my channel and and if you haven't done so already then uh, click on the bell notification so you always get updated when i upload a new video again please like share and comment because it helps every one of us out by doing so by interacting with these videos thanks again for stopping by and i will see you on the next video bye now